Okay, so... Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, so really quickly here, I wanted to look at a few basics of sample rate before I go into a lot of detail and kind of explain, based on a question I got, um, why is 96 kilohertz preferable to um, 44.1, or actually 96,000 hertz as compared to 44,100, and I'll explain a little bit why I call it 44.1 probably in another video. But if you watch, let's see, Musical Layers or uh, my Scarlet Setup video, any, a few of them, a lot of times I have a sample rate of 96,000, um, or 96K for short. And um, so I got a question, why, why is that preferred? So let me just explain a, a very basic illustration uh, about sample rates. So here on the screen, blank screen, I'm going to draw... Uh, sine wave, which is basically a representation of analog audio. So you have your peak and your trough. We're going up to another peak. Okay, that oh, that really looks awkward. Let me let me change the size here. <laughs> okay, maybe I can make this a little more articulate. Uh, all right, peak, trough, peak, another trough, and it's going up for another peak. In the, on the other side there. So if you notice, it probably looks a little bit like a wave on the ocean, and that's pretty much what it is. It's a representation of a sine wave. So let's pick another color here. And let's say that uh, 44,100 looks like this, because this, this sine wave is analog audio. And digital audio is, of course, zeros and ones rather than, you know, um, uh, voltage change like it is in analog gear <clears throat> so uh, so let's let's draw this out so you can imagine oops you can imagine 44,100 as being a series of steps that are climbing these um, these waves so we have okay it's one step okay and so on. And there's a kind of awkward step here. That is 44,100. And you can see it follows the general the general pattern and it, it it's kind of following the wave. But you'll notice there there are these empty spaces where it's away from the wave, right? Well, it looks kind of like a stegosaurus, doesn't it? Uh, uh, but that's basically what the digital is com coming along with the analog and trying to follow it as closely as possible. So uh, let's say that 96 kilohertz is like this. And you can see I'm still making little steps, but you'll notice that they are closer to the original signal. They, they don't stray as far out. Well, it's <laughs> kind of on the opposite side now. That was unintentional, but you get the point. It's kind of like following the smooth line a little bit more accurately. And so that's kind of because it's taking more samples per second, it's a little bit closer to the original sound wave. Now, some would argue that at that point, you really can't hear the difference, and uh, 44.1 is perfect. And... In general, that's what most of the music we probably listen to. Let's say uh, CDs are that sample rate, and uh, so is music on iTunes and probably Spotify as well. It's about that because of you know, CD delivery. And uh, 44.1, and we can identify that as, as good sound. The, the smaller the sample rate gets, like let's say 22,000 uh, 22, or, or less, it starts to be a little less accurate. You can still identify it as being the sound. Um, just the quality is slightly lower. So for me, a 96 is it's more smooth sounding. It does have smoother a smoother high end. It's easier to listen to for me for long periods. And then I always deliver lower, you know, for because I'm sending my stuff to iTunes and that sort of thing. It'll, you know, of course, be downsampled. But I like to have that extra quality there, so 
that is basically why I record <laughs> in 96k. Um, what one of the things they say about it is that you have a bigger file size. I found that's true, but the files that have really eaten up my hard drive space have been video files, not so much audio files. They are larger, um, but if you have a uh, one terabyte hard drive, you're you're not going to fill it up with five songs recorded in 96k. But 44.1 is perfectly acceptable for audio only delivery. Um, for DVDs, they are 48 kilohertz or 48,000 hertz. Um, it just the, the standard for DVDs. So there's a whole lot more I could go into, but I don't. I don't want to make this particular video too long. Um, just wanted to look a little bit at these basics and. Uh, Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this, because this video was based on a question, uh, I can look into it further. I do sometimes do videos based on questions. Uh, it's helpful. So now I'm rambling. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching.